Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jimmy GT. Today I will be talking about preparations for the upcoming event, which is Harvest Festival. Uh, actually, this is my first time using voice record because I thought it kind of hard to explain the whole thing with text. So it might sound a little bit weird since this is my first time doing this kind of thing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Let's get started. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty boring if I just stand out here doing nothing. So I guess I'm gonna play some parkour. Uh, back to the topic. Harvest Festival is one of the biggest events in Gordopia that gives you a lot of opportunities to get rich, especially for farmers. In this event, there's plenty of things that we are able to do to get profit. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tricks to be able to gain profit from the event. So first thing first, there's three types of tricks that I would recommend you to use. So the first one is the lazy method. The second one is the opposite, which is farming and the last one is investment. There's quite of differences between those methods. So lazy methods is the fastest way to earn profit without doing tons of efforts. To do lazy profit, I usually buy some certain of seeds and RSP or even SSP and then I splice them and harvest them and I just sell the blocks easily. Breaking blocks is obviously not involved in this method. But to do lazy profit in harvest festival, it is slightly different. For me, making a full farm with high variety farmables is the best way to profit. In the harvest festival, we must get the balance bookcake as many as possible. Because the balance is obviously the most important thing in the event. Some of the new items need a balanced mooncake to be crafted. For example, Songbeans, Zeus Lightning Bolts, and many more. It's not only because balanced mooncake it is important in the event. It has a reasonable price for us to spend our time for this method. Which is probably 5 to 8 warlocks each in the event. So all we have to do is just simply buy some farmable seeds like fish tanks, peppers, laser grates, pinballs, or if you're rich, you could buy like chandeliers or maybe soccer stunts. All of them works really well to get banana mooncake. But which one is the best? I will make the video about it, so make sure to stay tuned. So after you bought tons of farmable seeds, just simply plant them all in your, in your farms and wait until the harvest festival starts and make sure to harvest them in the first day. After that, just simply sell all the blocks and the seeds. But keep it in mind that you're not the only one who will be doing this trick. Most likely, many people are thinking about the same thing, so you have to compete with other sellers. Apparently, the Gordopia server is kinda laggy right now. Especially if you're in a famous Biocos world which has over 50 players in it every time, like buy Lesser Grid, buy Pepper, buy Fish Tank, or even buy Chandelier. During Harvest Festival, I'm sure that buy a lesser grade or buy paper or the other word to sell farmable will be full and leggy. So I made another choice for you. It is very simple and it won't took you a lot of time and effort to do so. All you have to do is buy some cheap RSP seeds in the feeding machine, then plant and harvest them. Simple. But this time you don't have to worry about competing with other sellers, because the blocks will be recycled. Recycling a high rarity block will give you a uh, ton of gems. It is true that the profit wouldn't be as many as selling farmables, but it, it is still more efficient. However, your account has to be supported to do so. Some RSP seeds like Spirit Board, Sing, Adventure Barrier, and Sunken Archon has over 53 plus rarity, which is higher than Fist Tank and Pink Bolts. Uh, all of them is kind of easy to find right now because they are useless. You cannot use them to spice anything right now. Moreover, the price of them is much cheaper than pinball, around 60 to 70 for warlocks, depend on seller. 33 to 45 warlocks for a full farm. Every time you recycle 200 blocks, you will get 1.1 to 1.3k gems. It means over 50,000 gems and 8 to 13 balance for each war. It actually depends on your luck for the balance part, but I've done this before for a couple of times, so there's no way you're losing more lucks, trust me. And the second method is farming. It is exactly the same with the first one, but the difference is you're going to farm all the blocks, which adds more effort into it, but if you're a hardcore farmer, then this method is perfect for you. 
after you harvest them you break other blocks you plant them again you harvest them again and then you repeat all of them from this method you will get tons of experiences and gems and you also get a lot of stacks of banished mooncakes which is more profit than the first method and the last but not least is investment it is kind of risky to use this method since all things in Gordopia couldn't be 100% predicted but still we can see the highest possibility of items for example mag plants since everybody are harvesting tons of trees they will definitely tire of collecting blocks or even seeds and mag plant is the answer of it Based of my experience, mag plants rise significantly during harvest festival. Even though the price of them are insanely expensive right now, like 38 diamond locks from 200,000 gems, which is insane, but I'm sure that mag plants could rise for more. And the next item is similar to mag plants. It has the same function, but it is not as good as mag plant. It is unstable test rack. The difference is it doesn't have any remote and it can only absorb up to 1500 blocks but still it would be really helpful for half festival and the next one is ghost jar everybody knows when we harvest the trees during harvest festival there's a chance of spawning ghosts from the trees some of them are normal ghosts and some of them are uncastor ghosts uncastor ghost is a unique ghost usually when you when you count a ghost you will get ghost in the jar but if you count uncastor ghosts you will get an Ancestor Mooncake instead of Ghost in a Jar. Some players are looking for this Ancestor Mooncake since new items need them to be crafted. So most likely, jars will rise too. And next is Ghost Be Gone. It is a consumable item to remove all the ghosts from your world. During the Harvest Festival, there's a chance of spawning ghosts from harvesting trees. Like I said before, that is why when you harvest a full farm, your world will be full of ghosts. Many players found this annoying and decided to buy Ghost Be Gone instead of manually cast them. That's why I think Ghost Be Gone could be one of the best items to invest for Harvest Festival. And just let you guys know, all of these are based on my opinion and from my experiences. So if you guys have another thoughts of gaining profit in Harvest Festival, make sure to let me know in the comment below. And finally guys, we have reached the end of the video. I hope this video could help you to prepare for the upcoming festival event. So make sure to hit the like button if it is helpful. Also share this video to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Because I'll be doing 200 warlocks giveaway at 5000 subscribers. And in the next video, I'm going to discuss about the best farmable in Harvest Festival. So make sure to stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.